It's such an amazing feeling to finish your book and it never gets old. Our next author is on book number two and she has called it Guerrilla Startup, Unique Steps to Run and Sustain Your Business, Claudette Yarborough. Claudette, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Laurie. Thank you for welcoming me. So Guerrilla Startup, you have a lot of experience starting and running many businesses, organizations, charities, running teams. Who is Guerrilla Startup for? What, what kind of startup and who will benefit from this book? So Guerrilla Startup is for all those people who call me at midnight asking me how to run a business and me losing my voice and busting a lot of bubbles about people calling me with all of these strange ideas and different ideas and just wanting to know how to get started. So the other part about um, Guerrilla Startup is so because of the pandemic, starting up and running is one thing. But as you mentioned, sustaining and keeping your business is totally different. And so as I started looking at Guerrilla Startup, I couldn't just talk about how to get started or how to run, but really thinking proactively about how will you sustain your business in different situations. And so it's, um, I you've think- been, business- You've been through many years of business. So you've been through other uh, financial dips before, what do you think is different about running a business in a down economy versus running a business in more of a go-go economy? Very little difference. I think if you're running your business in a way that is proactive, you're doing some of the same things in an up or down economy. You have a plan. And if you have to adjust your plan, that's part of running your business, looking at yourself, Dr. Loria, and all the things you are doing, like this virtual call right now with a launch, right? This is so new and different because you're used to having 5,000 people in front of you, but you've done a marvelous job of redirecting and not losing your business and keeping it going. And even I doubt, I dare I say, thriving differently. So, you know, my first book was Begin Again Differently, right? Mm -hmm. And so- and you always, I think you have to do that every day. You get new mercies every day, new different things you're looking at every day. So whether you're in a down or an up economy, you are you have a plan. You're being smart about how you do business no matter what. I don't think there's very little difference because business, I think, is about change. You don't have an idea and work it like that for 30, 40 years. Not anymore, Right the world's been changing for a while in a lot of different ways and so you have this mindset about you that's looking at your people your product your services your money differently every day to find that advantage to keep it going so i don't really believe i know some people may disagree but i don't believe there's a lot of difference and do you think anyone can start a business or do you think there's some required qualities that you have to have to be able to start a business anyone can start a business with the required co- with the required credentials you got to want to you got to have a mission you got to have a vision you just can't be oh one day pie in the sky well i want to own my business one day what are you doing about it dreaming wishing that's not going to get anything done so absolutely you have to have within yourself the want to right to say this is important to me. I think along the way, if you fail and start again, you find out where your thinking was off. Where, mm-hmm. where did I go wrong? You know, why did I have this pie in the sky mentality? Right. Yeah. And I, I talk to a lot of people who want to start businesses who really don't have a clue, but they have a dream. And I think you do have to start with a dream. Eventually you got to get a clue because that clue is going to lead you to your plan. And you're not just going to be up there in the heavens dreaming about one day and then 20 years later, you haven't done anything about it, right? And so absolutely. So you are very, a very busy person. You've got thing, you got 
many things running at the same time as as do all of our authors. Uh, how do you write a book with everything that's going on and how has the Author Incubator helped you get two books done while doing everything else? Amazing. The Author Incubator has a plan because they have a system because you need a plan and a system, I believe, to be successful in anything. So thank God for you, Dr. Loria, for living your truth, allowing people like me to live my truth. Your system is awesome. However, writing a book is not for the weak of heart, right? Come on, you gotta have something like an idea or a thought, not just again, pie in the sky. Um, I really feel that there, mission. I think that yeah. mission piece is a big part of it too. You have to have a mission. I, I know for me, I wanted to write, but the pandemic working virtually, our whole team was working virtually. And I was like, really? It's time to write another book? Where is that time? And then I had one of my colleagues said, but you already have your ideal reader. My niece had called me about wanting to run a business and I had to kind of walk her through. And once I got my idea reader, i.e. the system that the author incubator uses, uh, it was not a piece of cake, but the road is laid out. You know, I don't want anybody to think that it's easy peasy. I heard somebody say 23 hours straight, but that mission and that vision and that value you have for you and the team, uh, I've had Corey as an editor before, I heard his name, but this time it ever, who was new to you guys. Oh my God, uh, he wasn't new, right? He really told the line with the editing part and I, I was doing major renovations in my house. I thought I could live in my house and then I got flooded out of my house and it was the editing part. And Trevor didn't miss, miss a beat, I didn't miss a beat um, at all. I was late a couple of times, but I didn't miss a beat and it all got done. But that plan and that system, no matter what happens, right? When you have a plan and you have a system, no matter what comes, what may, you find your way throughout it because you had a plan to start with. Yep, a hundred percent. I think that's totally true. I love uh, this book. I love your ideal reader. Um, and there's something so powerful about being able to, because so many as business owners, so many people want to pick our brains. Hey, can I just pick your brain? Can I just have coffee? And now you've got the answer. Here's the book, read it. <laughs> this is my answer. This is what I say over coffee. So if you want to know what Claudette Yarbrough would say over coffee, you can get Gorilla Startup too. Do you have it there? It's Do passed you away somewhere because I've been moving a lot too. But I, I definitely right. had it in my last place, but I'm in a smaller place. And so we're all reading Christine Kraft's book about moving because all of us are moving. But you Gorilla Startup is on Amazon. You can get it now and you will have the unique steps to run and sustain your business. Claudette, Absolutely. congratulations on book number two. Thank you.